<laughs> hello, hello, hello guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. Today's video tutorial is going to be a drawing of the clown that rides the bike in the Saw movies. Um, Saw has been released, the, the new Saw has been released in the UK this week and it's also Halloween tomorrow so I thought that I'd give this one a go. Uh, it's the face of the clown, uh, it's quite spooky, um, quite simple, a lot of straight lines. Um, so as always I'm going to find something in the centre and right in the centre of this picture the, the clown or whatever he's called has got um, some eyebrows so we're just finding this central mark and then we're going to make a a sort of S shape on its side and we're going to do the same thing on the other side and they're actually the eyebrows and then from there we're going to come round with a semicircle for one eye and we're going to and we're going to match that up so we're going to go an equal distance away um, from the edge of the eyebrow or the frown whatever that is and in the center there is the black pupil and we're going to color that in black there we go now around the edge of the eye there is a a black quite a thick black line here uh, which gives him this kind of mad look. So we're just going to fatten the line on both sides. There and there. Okay. So coming now, we're going to try and find a place for the nose. So the edge of the nose lines up with the edge of the pupils here and here. And what we've now got is we've got two diagonal lines that come out at the same angle and then we're going to loop it round so that we've not got a sharp edge and then we're going to come in around to the bottom. Um, above the eyebrows we've just got two little frown marks. Okay, so level with the eyebrows, slight, actually it's just slightly below, we're just going to mark two uh, two dots there because the edge of the cheek now starts from here so we're going to draw two diagonal lines down and then we're going to round them off similar to what we did here but what we're going to be trying to do is we're going to try and circle it round to these dots here so we're going to come round in a swooping action and round into there because these are actually the cheekbones I guess um, and there's a there's a shape on these cheeks um, sort of semicircles coming out that are quite iconic. Uh, if you've watched any of the Saw movies, you will you'll recognise those shapes on the cheeks there. So the same thing here. There's four on each, so making sure that we're not doing too many or too few. So they're just semicircles getting slightly bigger. So you can see it's starting to take shape now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the mouth and the mouth connects from this point here and this point here and it actually comes under the nose. So it touches under the nose, there, continues out to there. We then do a diagonal line down from each side and we're going to round that off slightly flatten that out. Now level with the nostrils we've got this mouth that comes down. This was a wooden doll in the, in the uh, movies uh, and underneath he's got the dimple in his chin and th th this wooden mouth would have moved up and down to simulate talking. Okay so we're going to come down and we're going to try and find the rest of the chin now. So in between these two lines here we're going to make a straight line down and make sure that we're getting the same ones there. So it's, it, 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 it's, rather than it being in between, it's almost level with, with this line here and this line here. Um, and this comes in, it's not as low as the actual chin here. 
there we go. Underneath this, there's a bow tie. So we're gonna use the chin as a reference. So about halfway in between um, both of those semicircles there, we've got a, a straight line coming down. And then the frill is almost as wide as the, as the face itself. And then we're going to come diagonally back up, diagonally back up there. And then we're just going to do some crease lines just to give this the look of material. Okay, so onto the hair. We're going to just make sure that we're central so that the, the center parting is central. It's lining up with the, the base, uh, the, the eyebrows. And we're going to come round slightly, slightly wider than the dot because we want to come in for that sort of shape. So again, we're going to come out and around. There we go. Okay, so that's the that's the top of the head, the forehead, and then from here, we've got some flowing hair. And as long as we get the general shape of it, we can be quite loose, it doesn't need to be precise, um, it comes around and he's got some curly bits. And then not going overboard but just making sure that we fill in some of the lines just to give us the, the direction of, of, of the hair. Same thing here so it comes up and over so it's sort of a centre parting. And then we're doing some loose lines following a similar shape to the, the right hand side as we're looking at it. And then we've got some curls in here. A couple more at the top, just to give us that idea. And I think we're done. So that was the, the Jigsaw doll from the movie Saw. I hope you enjoyed that. If that's the first time you've watched one of my videos, thank you so much for watching. Uh, go and hit the subscribe button. I'm doing daily videos. Uh, it's Halloween tomorrow, so uh, go and check out my horror movie series. Uh, I've been doing a few of those recently. Um, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and liking and viewing my videos. It makes a huge difference to small YouTube channels. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. You can get a hold of me in the comments if you need to ask me a question or anything. Uh, or you need to um, get me to draw something or have a go at drawing something. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.